What's the best grammar checker you can use today? Hi there, my name is Brian Collins and welcome to the Become a Writer Today show. So I've spent years trying and testing various different types of writing software, including grammar checkers. To be honest, the space has evolved quite a lot since I first started reviewing these types of tools. So in this video review, I'm going to walk through some of the best grammar checkers out there. And I'm also going to evaluate some of the free ones so you can understand what the space looks like and which tools could help you improve your writing faster and more efficiently. Hope you enjoy the content in this video. If you do, hit thumbs up. But if you want to get more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're a writer of any type, chances are you've heard of Grammarly. It's actually my preferred grammar checker to date, and it's changed in a number of fantastic ways for writers. Personally, I use the Grammarly plugin to edit articles on the go on my WordPress site, but I also use the desktop app for my Mac to edit articles on the go. For the purposes of this grammar checker review, I've written 450 words that has a couple of grammar and spelling errors. So I've written this in the Ulysses writing app and this is relying on the basic grammar checker in Mac or OS X to identify errors. So there's one obvious mistake, borrow X. Now there are a couple of other mistakes in the document which are not immediately obvious. Firstly, there's a missing apostrophe. Uh, and secondly, this should be S O M E, depending on what way I want to phrase or edit this sentence. So I'm going to paste this text into various different tools in this review and see what types of alerts and suggestions they propose fixing. I have opened the Grammarly desktop app with, for Mac, which is what I use the most, but you can do this in uh, the web app as well. Paste the text into Grammarly and it'll take a moment to scan it for grammar mistakes and spelling issues. The number one reason why I like Grammarly is because of its AI powered writing assistant. The first thing this assistant will do is suggest multiple changes that I can make at a click. I do suggest you review these changes before you make them, but it is faster than going through your document line by line, particularly if your document is several hundred or a thousand or two thousand words in length. Now the key caveat to Grammarly and all of the tools that I'll feature in this review is that you as the writer need to decide what makes sense for your article based on the audience and based on the publication's style guide. This particular piece of text that I pasted in is about cryptocurrency. And in this case, I've said you could borrow a stable coin and then put some of the stable coin in a. So in this case, I need to decide well, what the correct grammar choice is rather than relying on software. But that said, these tools will help you find and fix more error, errors than any traditional tool. The other thing that Grammarly will do is it will also suggest sentence rewrites. And I haven't found this in a lot of other grammar checkers that I've tested. And this is also why I like Grammarly a lot because uh, it'll help me improve the structure of my sentences. So it suggested that I rewrite this to, I also like to have assets on hand to bridge quickly and easily. And that makes sense to me, and that's a change that I would probably accept. So if I was reviewing the document, I would go through all of the red lines for correctness and all of the blue lines for clarity. If I had a bit more time, then I would also look at engagement and delivery. In terms of accuracy, Grammarly caught all of the mistakes that I would expect, and it is a reliable tool. So you can see here it's caught B-O-R-R-O-W-X, my spelling mistake. And it's also recognized that this should be S-U-M and not S-O-M, which was something that some of the other tools overlooked. Now, you might be wondering, did Grammarly miss the missing apostrophe here? Uh, well, if you go to Clarity, Grammarly will actually propose a sentence rewrite that automatically fixes this. Uh, so it's this sentence rewrite here, and I can just accept this at a click. So this is why I rely on Grammarly for both copy editing and fixing grammar mistakes. Personally, I like Grammarly as a good app because uh, of the AI powered writing assistant and because of its accuracy and ease of use. Plus Grammarly supported in almost all of your writing apps, either directly or indirectly via its plugins, add-ons and web apps and apps for your desktop. Number one alternative, which I also use regularly as a grammar checker is Pro Writing Aid. Pro Writing Aid works a little bit differently to Grammarly and it has some additional reports and insights which could help you with long form writing and fiction. Pro Writing Aid also has a different pricing structure. So you can check 500 words for free. There's no real free trial after the 500 words. And then it's approximately $79 per month for the year. Again, you can use it via a desktop app or via a web app or via its plugins for Google Docs and your browser. So I'm gonna open up Pro Writing Aid and paste back in the text that I pasted into Grammarly a few moments ago. Then what will happen is Pro Writing Aid will take a moment to scan it for any potential errors. Again, much like Grammarly, I will go through these suggestions here on the left-hand side and decide which ones I want to fix and which ones I will potentially want to leave. So it's also suggesting um, 
some other changes that I could make to improve the readability of my work. Now, the other difference from Grammarly versus Pro Writing Aid is the sheer number of reports that are here. To be honest, you don't need to use all of these unless you're a copy editor or you're polishing your fiction or you're writing something more involved like a book. The reports that I recommend you use the most are the Grammar Checker, obviously, considering what the video is about, uh, and potentially the Style Checker if you want to see if there's any readability enhancements and that would help you with copy edits. Uh, if you have a bit more time, you could also look at uh, instances of cliches in your writing. Um, now that's not going to apply if you're writing non-fiction, a technical article like this, but if you're writing fiction, perhaps you have some cliches about your characters which you may want to fix. In terms of accuracy, I was pretty happy with how Pro Writing Aid worked overall. It's caught the obvious mistakes. It's uh, recognized that it should be borrow with no X, so I can accept this change at a click. It's also caught the missing apostrophe. Uh, now for some, it's actually proposed a uh, sentence rewrite rather than saying it should be S O M E. But this is enough of an alert to say that I should consider rephrasing this sentence, where some of the other tools missed this entirely. Uh, and that brings me to the key caveat with these tools that you need to make a decision as a writer about what makes sense for you. So I, in this case, I could change this to the sum of stable coins rather than sum of the stable coins. Um, so again, it really depends on the context of the sentence and what you're trying to communicate as a writer. I use Grammarly for editing short form articles and also for checking articles on the go. And I use Pro Writing Aid for checking my long form writing projects that I've written in Scrivener. But you won't go wrong with either Grammar Checker. So simply decide what's right for your price point and for how you like to edit your writing. The next grammar checker worth checking out is Antidote. And it's actually one of the lesser known grammar checkers, which is surprising because it's been around for 25 years and it's quite powerful. The key difference between Antidote, Grammarly and Pro Writing Aid and all the other tools in this review is that Antidote will work entirely offline on your desktop. So if for some reason you have something really sensitive that you don't want uploaded to the web, even though Grammarly and Pro Writing Aid and those other tools uh, have various types of encryption and security options which you can read about, perhaps Antidote is the one for you. Also, Antidote supports different languages. Uh, I think you can grammar check French, uh, for example. Now, the pricing of Antidote is a little bit different. So you, pay a, you can pay a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription. So it is quite cheap. As uh, These prices are in Euro because I'm in Ireland. So I do convert these to US dollars if you're in the United States. But it is one of the more cheaper grammar checkers out there. Although I said Antidote works entirely offline, there is a web app version if you do want to check your stuff on the go. And you can install it onto your phone and tablet. Now, Antidote works a little bit differently to the other grammar checkers that I've described in that it integrates directly with your writing apps of choice. So you can integrate Antidote with Word and then you'll be presented with a little box like this on the left hand side. So if I paste in my text and then I can click here uh, and then Antidote will potentially flag errors in my work. <clears throat> so it's opened up the Antidote corrector. And then what I can do is I can correct these in Antidote uh, and then when I'm done, I will simply click tick and it'll be saved back to my Word document. In terms of accuracy, I was pretty pleased with how Antidote worked. So I caught the obvious grammar errors, such as the spelling mistake with X after borrow and the missing apostrophe, and I was able to correct these. And it also caught that this should be S-O-M-E and not S-U-M. And some of the other tools that I featured and tested did not catch this grammar error. So Antidote is something that's accurate and reliable. You can also just open up the Antidote text editor and edit your documents directly in Antidote. <clears throat> now I do use Antidote occasionally as well. Uh, so Ulysses is, is my writing app of choice at the moment. Uh, I'm on a Mac and Antidote inter integrates directly with Ulysses, which the other grammar checkers don't do. And that's probably because it works entirely offline. So I do like Antidote for that. Um, some of the other things I like about Antidote uh, is it has lots of different reports and statistics which are helpful for copy editing uh, and also the support for different languages is quite good as well. Um, and because Antidote has been around for 25 years, you can be assured that it's going to find and fix more errors than what you're going to get in Word. So if you're looking for an alternative that perhaps you haven't tried yet, Antidote is one to consider. The next grammar checker worth considering is Microsoft Editor. This is Microsoft's, I suppose, attempts to compete with popular grammar checkers like Grammarly and Pro Writing Aid. It's worth considering because if you're in a workplace, you already have access to it because it comes included with Microsoft Office 365. It's built into Word and all of the other suite of apps, which and that will cost you $79 per month if you don't already have one. So to use it, I actually uh, encountered a few issues. So 
I tried opening up Word and pasting in my text, but it looked like it was presenting just a standard grammar and spell checker in Word, at least for Mac. So then I went into the web app version and I was pleased to see that when I pasted in my text, I was able to access Microsoft Editor more easily. And the sidebar is obviously taking a bit of inspiration from some other grammar checkers because uh, it presents spelling errors, grammar errors, and provides context to these, much like the other tools I've uh, mentioned in the video. In terms of accuracy, uh, Microsoft Editor did catch two key grammar mistakes uh, in my work, but I was surprised to see that I'd actually missed one grammar mistake that other free grammar checkers actually caught. So instead of S-U-M, this should be S-O-M, some of the stable coin, not S, not some of the stable coin. Um, and some of the free tools I've profiled ha did catch this, so this was a bit surprising to me in terms of accuracy. And that said, it doesn't really have the same type of AI-powered writing assistant, and it doesn't really have the same uh, extensive grammarly or grammar dictionary that you'll get in some of the other tools that I've described. But if you're in a work environment, you already have access to it, so it's a good way of checking your, your stuff on the go, and it will integrate with the other Microsoft apps like Outlook and PowerPoint and so on. The next grammar checker that you may want to consider is called Ginger Software. It's one of the first Grammarly alternatives that I came across before I used Pro Writing Aid. And I liked it at the time because you can then add it to Chrome for free, much like the other tools in the video. You can also download a desktop version uh, to your computer with the caveat that you do need to be connected to the internet. So the big selling point of Ginger, at least today, is its price point. So it's $13.99 per month for the premium version with uh, the promo that they're usually run versus $30 for Grammarly uh, and your Microsoft Office 365 subscription uh, or Pro Writing Aid, all of which would probably be more expensive than taking this out for a month or two for grammar checking a piece of work. So I have open on screen the Grammarly editor and Ginger. So if I paste the text into Grammarly, you can see it just takes a second to scan the document. Uh, if I paste the same text into Ginger, I then click text and it, it takes a little bit longer to scan, but it doesn't catch the same amount of errors and propose the same sentence changes as Grammarly or with Pro Writing Aid. That said, it is cheaper, so probably good for writers on a budget. And I did like that they had a rephrase tool or a paraphrasing tool, because I've been exploring these types of tools for rephrasing and paraphrasing content. Um, and this is probably something I'd like to see added to other grammar checkers that are out there at the moment. Linguix is a newer grammar checker, which is also worth considering. Again, it has the usual suite of plugins and web apps that you can use uh, for checking your work. Uh, in terms of pricing, it starts at $8 per month, although you can get basic free corrections with the free trial. And you can vary that or pay a little bit more if you only want to take out a monthly subscription at $14.99 per month. Um, it's probably aimed at more of a business audience uh, versus some of the other tools I have here because it has support for things like a st writing style guide. I also like that it has a paraphrasing tool as well. Uh, which is quite handy. So I did take out a Linguix subscription and again you just log into the web app or you can use the Chrome plugin similarly to the way I've showed you before. And I'm going to paste in my sample text to show you how it will work. It takes a moment to scan the document for any potential errors and then it will highlight them or color code them with potential changes. Uh, you can also go back to the dashboard uh, in Linguix to access its templates and it provides writing templates for email, social media, essays and so on. So it's building itself as a type of writing uh, instructor. Linguix is a newer type of grammar checker that also builds itself as a writing assistant in that it provides context and insights uh, to mistakes that are potentially in your writing and also provides some templates that you can use and it also has a paraphrasing tool. In terms of pricing, it's comparatively priced. You can get an annual subscription at $8 per month or a monthly subscription at $14 per month. Um, it, it is kind of more aimed at a slightly business audience in that it has support for a style guide and so on, uh, which is helpful if you're writing or editing articles with a team. Um, so I've actually reviewed the premium version of Linguix and the key features that I liked were uh, its writing coach, which provides context to your grammar mistakes the advanced checks and its support for a style guide. I also liked that it had a plagiarism checker uh, as well. And I did find it relatively accurate. So it's quite good if you're working with a team or in a business, but you don't want to spend a huge amount of money uh, on a grammar checker. Now that said, I've opened up the free version of Linguix, which anybody can try to show you how this can work. So I'm going to paste in my text and Linguix will take a moment to scan it. And then it will highlight any potential issues uh, in color. Now, Linguix did actually catch the key grammar mistakes in my document. It's recognized that this should be S-O-M-E. 
And it's also recognized that this is a spelling mistake as well. Uh, and the premium version will give me some additional context. So that is lacking from the free version. By now you may have noticed a theme that of all of the tools that I feature, I need you to take out the premium subscription to get the most value from them. But what if you want to try something different to what's in Microsoft Word or Google Docs to grammar check your articles, but you don't have a huge budget? Well, you have two options, Reverso and Spellcheck Plus are both worth considering. So first up, Reverso. Now there is a premium version of this, but you can do some good stuff with the free version. So if I paste in my text, I can translate this from English to French uh, or any of these other supported languages. But then if I go over to the grammar check section, I can paste in my text and I can rephrase it, which is helpful for paraphrasing. Uh, but I can also click the check option and it'll scan it for any potential issues. And it's spotted one here. Um, it's saying that this is a grammar mistake. Um, unfortunately, it hasn't given me much context and I don't actually need to figure out what the mistake is myself because it doesn't look like this suggestion is uh, correct. The other option that you could try is spell check plus. So if I paste in spell check plus and then I can click check text. And again, it's highlighting um, some potential grammar errors. So it has caught that this one here should be S-O-M-E and not S-U-M. And it has caught the missing S here as well. Uh, so these are both worth considering. Another option which I've also reviewed on the Become a Writer Today site is called Quillbot. It's actually more of a summarizer and paraphraser, but it does have a grammar checker in the tool as well, which you can try for free or which you can add to your Chrome um, browser. So if I paste in my text and then I can click fix all errors and it'll automatically change everything. But I wouldn't actually recommend doing that because like I was saying earlier on, as a writer, you need to decide what changes make the most sense. So that's how I'm currently used. So I would change this to use. That's how I, so these grammar checkers all, or these suggestions all make sense to me. Um, and you can see here it's missed some, so it's not hundred percent accurate. Uh, so that's, that underlines why you need to, uh, you know, apply some due diligence when you're using any of these grammar checkers for your writing. Those are the best grammar checkers on the market today, both paid and free. In summary, Grammarly is still the most powerful grammar checker out there, but at $30 per month for the premium version, it's probably a little bit expensive for some newer writers. That said, it is the grammar checker that I use the most to check my writing and also writings by other freelance writers. Pro Writing Aid is the best alternative to Grammarly on the market. And it's also particularly good if you're engaged in long form writing or if you write fiction, or if you just want something different to Grammarly or need additional writing reports and insights. Some of the other interesting competitors include Linguix and Antidote, uh, which will vary depending on your writing and editing workflow. And there are free options out there, but you really need to do your own due diligence before you accept any of the changes. Hope you enjoyed the content in this video. If you do hit thumbs up, and if you wanna get more videos like this about grammar checkers or writing apps, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel.